really excited we started this event obviously a few years ago with just the intention of the local businesses getting some um, more recognition and the kids coming out on another day to wear their costu costumes and just really have some fun in the downtown. So um, that's a little bit about it. We just have all the businesses participating and they're really the people who make it happen and participate. So without them, the event wouldn't be what it, would, what it is. So we're just really excited. We, we have a lot more businesses participating than we have in the past. A lot of new businesses that have come into town, like artists, and um, Honda Galleries has a new marketing department, so they're here doing a trunk or treat. So we do have a lot of new um, participating businesses this year. Uh, for the third year, RCTV is sponsoring the downtown trick or treat event, and we think it's a great way for us to promote RCTV and support Running Rec in this great event. Well, it's a great way for us to reach out to the community as the kids come in for trick or treat. We get to talk to the parents, uh, tell them a little bit about RCTV. The kids get to be interviewed um, on RCTV and uh, it's a great, great time. Uh, we're giving out assorted uh, chocolate and non-chocolate candies for um, kids who have allergies and we're also giving out glow sticks and stickers. It's a great way for moms and dads to get out with their kids and see what wonderful businesses we have here in town. There's a lot uh, to offer, a lot of places to shop for the holidays and we're just happy to get out and see the community. It's fun and then people can get candy. My favorite kind of candy would be um, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Well, I'm Lisa Egan, and I'm the executive director of the Reading North Reading Chamber of Commerce. We're a business group in town, and we're one of the co-sponsors of the event, along with RCTV, um, for the downtown trick-or-treating. Well, because it's a nice way to bring people downtown and come into the businesses and see things that have opened and new shops that we might have in town. So people think of us when they need a gift or um, are out shopping. Really, it's to encourage people to shop local. I think the event is going really well. Last year it rained. We still had a crowd, but this is so much better because it's nice and uh, seasonal. A little chilly, but I see a lot of smiling kids and a lot of adults in costume too, which is really fun. Well, it's the finest family day of the entire year today. Um, certainly not just for the kids, but for the parents as well. There's smiles galore up and down the street. I, you know what, We're, we are just so intertwined with the community all year long and all this does is confirm what we do throughout the year. Yeah, uh, my name is Sean Mullen, I'm the general manager. Uh, Built Mar Maine, we've been here for uh, just a little over a year. We just had our anniversary about a week ago, so we're excited. That's why we wanted to take this year and kind of take it to a new level. Uh, last year we were a little caught off guard by this uh, event and we kind of had a scramble, so this year we uh, took a little time and put something nice together. So uh, the decoration, just kind of the theme is, uh, you know, kind of a haunted graveyard theme. So uh, the clown got thrown in there last minute. He's not really supposed to be in there. But yeah, just kind of a spooky haunted garden, haunted graveyard type thing. Because we call this, uh, you know, our uh, you know, our beer garden. So we thought we'd take the beer garden and turn it into a uh, spooky garden or a haunted garden. No, it's just our way. You know, it's not so much as important to the business. It's just a way to get back to the community, to be honest with you, uh, and introduce ourselves to the community. You know, it's, uh, Reading's a little town, so it's all about community and, and friends and family. So, Well, I think it's important that we support the community and let them know that we want to be part of the community. And when we're open, we're hoping that we can maybe host one of the events for the trick-or-treaters. I think the turnout has been really great. Last year, we had significant rain and wind. This year, it's very chilly but I think we have a better turnout than last year and we're really, we're really happy with the turnout this year.